Hey y'all, and welcome to Skyam Scripting, a streaming edition on Twitch of Skyam Scripting. Thank you everyone for joining. Uh, let me make sure I say this right. Sacrelatius, Sacrelatius. Thank you for always being here and helping out. So today we're either going to make some custom console commands. Uh, I've made a bunch of them, so I'm going to show them off. I want to make a mod configuration menu that lets you turn them on and off and lets you configure them. But let me show off some of the custom console commands that I made yesterday because I just think they're adorable. Da -da 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 -da. Cool, let's boot up the game. And I'm not going to go to Riverwood. Crazy. I'm going to go to the Winking Skeever. And watch everything blow up because I'm streaming and that's the way the world works. I can't hear anything. Okay, it's just a little bit quiet. Uh, so I made like a bunch of random commands. Like, I want that sweet roll. So I'm going to say it's mine. And now it's mine. And now I can take it. I'm not stealing it. Uh, or there's some cheese over here somewhere. Where's the cheese? Uh, I want to duplicate the cheese. I want a hundred of the cheese. Now there's a hundred of the cheese. Hooray! Uh, what else do I want to do? I want to go invisible. Ta-da! I'm invisible. That was fun. Got to walk through all this cheese. Uh, what else did I make? Um, let me unhide. Uh, I want this guy to follow me. So I'm just going to say follow. And now he's following me. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Cool. And if I want someone else, uh, this guy is always really annoyed and never wants to talk to me. I'm going to make him follow me. It says I already have a follower because I'm just using the built-in follower system, which only lets you have one follower. So it's like, hey, you need to pass force or something to uh, get the new follower. So it says my follower left my service. Um, I'll I need to back close it and reopen it before uh, this thing kicks in. But it says it added him, and now this guy's following me. Can I make anything else cool? Ooh, I want cheese. Give me 50 of that cheese. That's going to over-encumber me. Now I got 50 of that cheese. Um, oh, I'm not. I'm not over encumbered. Cool. I don't remember if I made anything else. Did I make anything else? Let's go to the code. Let's go to the code, you guys. Da 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 da. Bum. Let's see. This is in Morale Purge Custom Command Pack or Console Command Pack. I'm just using it as a place to make a bunch of random commands. I got follow. I got dupe. Oh yeah. I'm always really annoyed that you can't get to the main menu. You can QQQ, but tell me if I'm wrong. I've never found like an MMM, so I made MM. So now you can go to the gosh darn um, things. Ooh, my chat was paused to scroll. Let me fix my chat. Let me just fix my chat. Isn't it really cool? Um, I've just been having fun making the silliest, silliest things. Um, oh, uh, here's a fun one. Let's go to... Riverwood. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I made Mark and Recall, like Morrowind. So why not? Um, I don't know. Let's go on this rock. Marked. Let's go somewhere else. I'm gonna jump in the water. I'll go somewhere and I'll stay in the same cell. Wee! And now I'll recall. Look, I'm on the rock. And now I'll go to um, Drifton, B and Barb. This guy will talk about uh, stuff. I mean, normally the dude's there just preaching and preaching and preaching. Uh, so I'll recall. Look, I'm on the rock. Ta da! So I made stuff. Um, I kind of want to distribute this. I'm still working on a number of uh, features generally for making custom console commands because I'm trying to make it super duper 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 easy. I'll make one really quickly and then. Um, uh, and then what I want to do, unless someone has an idea for like a cool console command to make because they're just so easy to make and it's really powerful to do it, um, I'm going to make a mod configuration menu that lets you A, tick the, com the commands on and off. So like you can download my default download that I'm going to put out there, which has like, I don't know, 20 or 30 commands probably. And then you can tick them on and off if you want to. And then... Um, I want you to easily, trivially, trivially be able to say like, hey, your console command has like a little Boolean flag or like a text flag or a color or whatever, some like little bit of configuration value. And your console command will automatically 
get a page within the MCM menu and you'll have your little configuration options there. You don't have to make your own MCM menu. I think it'll be adorable. At least I think it's fun. So let me open up CK and I'm going to make a command. Um, I don't know what to make it do. Um, is there anything you want me to make it do besides fix faces? I can't do that. I wish I could make it change people's races, but I've been having trouble like that. Aren't perk points like annoying to deal with and hard? Let me look up uh, first. Let me go to the quest and the list of commands so that we can make one. But then let me open up ck.com.com and then um, let's look at perk point stuff. Um, is there stuff in the actor script for perk points? I've like heard specifically that there's annoyance with Papyrus. Darkbox mentioned this the other day about giving people perks, but I think you want a certain amount of perk points. And I've seen that. There's like adding individual perks, as perk, new perk, scam, Papyrus. I've solely seen this, but isn't it like not doable without um, an SKSE plugin? Mod perk points. Sweet. Sweet. Cool. It's just on game and it's SKSE. All right. Cool. Um, should I just give it to like the target actor, like or the player if you're not looking at anyone, and I'll call it like a no perk point. What do I call it? I want it to have a short name. What should I call it? It just needs like a little short command. Perk. PP for perk point. I don't know. Um, what do you want me to call it? I'm going to sip my tea. Oh, right. They can only be added to the player. All right. So in that case, uh, give me a better idea than PP or something. Uh, I'll call it perk points command, but then we can change its name. Uh, gives the player the specified number of perk points because that's what the API lets you do, right? Mod perk points, so you can add them and I'm assuming you can get them. Remove plus, cool, dope. Dope, 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 dope. Let's make that perk points command. Close out of CK. Open this up. Here's perk points command. So it's going to be very, very complicated, let me tell you. Instead of extending a quest, we're going to extend a console command. And then we're just going to say event on command. That's kind of it. Um, you get like an arguments a string array if you want to get at it. So here's arguments string array. So I can say like, um, um, let's say uh, int uh, points equals whatever you pass um, as an int will say uh, if the arguments you passed in length was like zero then we'll say like hey you should pass in a perk point number otherwise we'll just um, otherwise we'll just give them so we'll say print um, please specify the number of perk points you would like um, if there is one, we'll say uh, points isn't zero. If it, like, if it doesn't cast right, it'll be zero. Um, if it is zero, I'll just say print um, uh, as a number. And then we'll just give it to them. So game mod perk points points. Save, build. Cool, it's going to game. Oh, I call it perk points. I want to give it this cute little name like PP or something. Can we make it to uh, and remove? Yeah, totally. We'll make one for add or remove. 
uh, or do you just want it to be pp add and pp remove? Um, I don't have subcommands fully implemented yet, um, but I can just check for those arguments. Um, I can do either, they can be totally separate commands. I'll make them totally separate commands. Let's go back into CK. Because all I need to do is attach a script to the quest. And it's just like Sky um, config base, like mod configuration menus. You just attach something to the script and then instead of extending a quest, you extend this other thing. Cool, pp add, pp remove, done. Uh, it takes a second to load because one of the commands like loads up Skyrim as a master because uh, the mark recall one puts an X marker in like a WE merchant chest so that I can move it around for the teleportation. Uh, so pick points command, I'm going to say perk points add command. I could just call it pp like add and pp remove and then I don't actually need to like tell it what the name is. It just automatically knows. Um, so like, but I want to name it perk points add command. So perk points add command. Vroom. And get rid of this other one that we made and I'll just make a remove one. We would have been done by now. One, two, three, remove. Boop. 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 Literally just gonna copy this into the um add one. So here's add. There we go. Copy paste fail. We can steal this little description. I'll get rid of the perk points command. Brum. Yes, I want to move it to recycle bin. This extends a console command. I'll make it bigger again. Well, I'm going to have to hop to the other one, so I'll keep it small. Cool, that one should be done. So I'm just going to copy this over to the other one. So remove command. Grab the description too because I'm perfectionistic. Oh, we need to set the name of it. So I'm just going to do like um, function setup and function uh, name pp add name pp remove. Removes the specified number of perk points from the player. Please specify the number of perk points you would like to remove. You would like to remove. It's a console command. Cool, and instead of uh, mod perk points, we're just gonna multiply it by negative one. Now let's see if it works. How do you like get the total number of perk points. Can we do that so that we can print out like, hey, you had this many and now you have this other many, this other many. Yeah, I can speak, I know English. Oh, I hate that sound. All right, well, we'll just open up the like, um, the menu thingamajigger. The menu thingamajigger thing where you can use your perks to see what the number of perks are. I wonder if I have my Khajiit enabled or if I have my um, regular dude with all the iron gear. There's my Khajiit. My Khajiit and it's raining. I love it. Tweak my COC experience as much as I can. Um, so let's just look at how many points we've got. It'll be here, right? I haven't played the game in so long. Maybe add 10. Oh, we don't have it saying, hey, we added 10, and it's updated, so it says that. Perks to increase 10, let's remove them. PP remove 5. 
I'm gonna update them so that it actually says remove this many points. Perks to increase five. Oh, I don't think there's a function. Um, let me perfectionistically have these just print out removed x points. We'll just say print removed and points perk points. Save. And we'll do print added and points and perk points. Done. I want to see that work. Do you want any more? These are so much fun. These are so much fun to make. I can't wait to like, uh, there's a lot of um, polish, like a lot of polish I want to get on this. I want it to be like pretty unbreakable. And um, when I release it, I know people are going to be like focused on the commands. And as the mod author, I'm like, no, it's not about the commands. It's about the fact that you, you guys, other mod authors can make commands. But everybody, the gamers, everyone's just going to be like, oh, here's the commands. I'm going to write posts about the things I like and don't like about the commands. Silly girl, why'd you make this command? Why didn't you make this other command? I'm going to be like, you can make your own commands. That's the whole point. Okay, cool. Now it at least has added 10 perk points. It's hard to see because I've got my background. Um as transparent, so it probably doesn't come through as well. Now let's remove two of the points. Uh, right? I know. Um, uh, Sakurilla Diaz pointed out that it's, um, it takes like a couple minutes to do, um, which is why I think it's so powerful and so cool. Um, I think it's going to be so much fun to release. I want to get this in people's hands, but um, one of the things I want to have happen is, so first, I'm going to sip my tea. Is there any, do you have any other ideas? Because these are really fun to make. And Sky UI mod configuration menus are fun to make, but I can also do that on my own time. Um, I do really love the idea of having a mod configuration menu where in your code, we're just going to let you do something like this. You're going to say like, um, function config and just say like, Um, config string blah config toggle or like config text I don't know, config toggle blah and then anywhere in your command you can just see whether they toggled that in the MCM menu you can just see like get config toggle blah it's gonna be so much fun Ooh. Yeah, let's find out if it's doable. Here's some ideas. Ideas from the chat. Wonder who it could be from. I'm gonna sip my tea while you mention it. Yeah, if it's papyrus, some stuff is like soups trivial, and some stuff is like, yeah, we can't do that, or we need an SKSE plugin. But there's SKSE plugins like um, papyrus extender. Lets you do so many things. Goodness gracious, it lets you do so many things. I'm ashamed of myself that I haven't learned um, to make SKSE plugins yet because it's so on my list of things to do, but I'm just having so much fun with all this other stuff and I want to get this out. I want to get this out real bad. Let me switch back to the rain. I'm actually going to switch the rain. Maybe we can have a nice downpour. Oh, I got so lucky. If you open up the wait menu, close it, it changes the rain. Because my mod does that. Because I don't know whether you waited or not. There's no... I guess I could check... Okay, next time I tweak that mod, I'll check to see if the current time is going to change. Okay, let me uh, look at something more pretty. Isn't that pretty? The rain is a bit loud. I'll tweak it to different rain. Nice little drizzle. Saccharoatius. What's your idea? Do I have other ideas? I'm gonna make the whole thing do cool stuff like um, um, one of the features that comes out of the box that you can turn off will be like um, uh, 
be able to keep your console history commands forever. Like, so when you QQQ out of the game and CCC back, or like go back in the game, CCC, um, and COC in, you can hit up and it'll have the last command that you ran before you QQQ it out. Um, I especially want that for my like reload script commands because I'm constantly doing them. Okay. Cool. And do you know where I can get to a bridge that has that? I mean, I've used, um, is this something that we can just use, uh, send animation event for? Or is it more complicated than that? Because I've definitely, I don't have it right now, but, like, I've made people dance and stuff like that. I used to have a dance command. Um, and if it's an HKX that, like, is registered in the game and has an animation name, then it should be totally playable. Um, but what you're talking about is probably way more complicated than that. Because I'm still a noob and I'm learning, but I know how to send animation events. And I know how to set idols with FNIS. Where's a bridge? I know where. I know it's not this, although this does put you on a bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So we're getting a link here to, um... Oh, okay, gate of white run like by the stables is you see a uh, white run exterior the one wow sirens outside wow a bunch of sirens wow fire truck now like here here is there one up here Go get that fire, you guys. Put it out. Put it out real good. I wonder if, like, exterior O2 or something takes you to right outside the, uh... Okay, cool. That one. That one. Alright, cool. Let's look at the animation that we got sent. Play as a legacy NIF file-based animation. Cool. Optionally, starting the animation um, from the beginning with a specified ease time. String as animation, cool, forward from its mesh. Okay. Door ref. Okay, cool. And we can totally click on something and get it. Um, should I just do forward? I'm going to try forward. Uh, while I start doing that, tell me if... Uh, I'm wrong and there's something else we can do. Well, here's what I'll do. Um, I'll do like, uh, tell me what I should call it and uh, we'll just pass it the name of the animation. And if you want, we can even pass it the ease in time. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, NIF time, woo. Do, 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 NIF time, woo. Are the legacy NIFs in here? Are there NIFs in here, but things besides HKXs? I don't know. This I do not know. I do not know enough things, but I'm going to put all of the animations in this folder. Animations. Pass the name of the animation. Okay, cool. I'll make the command so that you just uh, pass the name of the animation, and uh, then if we're wrong with the animation name, we can just keep trying different animations. Um, Cool, this will be fun. Let me go to my downloads. Let me go to animations. Um, what are some NIFs in here? I'm going to be crazy with my uh, codes. I'm going to say find. Show me all of your NIFs. There are no NIFs. No NIFs at all. All right, well, first I'm just going to make the command because I'm kind of curious if that, like, clicking on stuff like doors and saying forward does stuff uh, and we can look up what the animation names are hopefully 
what should we call it? Play Anim. GB. Uh, door. Um. Sweet. Thank you. But you also got to tell me, Zach, you got to tell me what, what we should call it. We're going to type something space animation name. GB Anim. <laughs> I don't know. Game Bro. Um, let me go to the the console commands and I'm on the screen I'm on the screen where I gotta hey well I can change the name of it from within the script so I'm just gonna call it play game bro animation by brio I always say bro bio I'm an idiot that's all it is um let's make it go let's make it go Let's make some draw bridges draw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be so cool. Now I really want to see a draw bridge move at our command. <laughs> really want to see it. Um, what did I say we call this thing? Play game bro animation. We'll call it something different though. All right, cool. Let me copy from the chat. Um, let's do function setup still deciding on the exact interface for this but right now you can just do this boop and um, event on command and event uh, we'll get the animation name from whatever you pass so I'll say um, uh, if the arguments length is greater than zero um, I'm going to say if it's two, and also if the argument length equals one, else play print um, play GB anima. So usage uh, animation name, and then easing time as a as an R, uh, as an optional thing to pass. I don't want to have to like go back into the code and change the easing time. I'm just going to make it so that the command gets it. All right, cool. Um, instead, it'll brb or they. Command. Cool. Let's go grab this. Cool. So we need to get the thing that you clicked on or that's under the target. So we'll just say, um, is there an object reference that either you selected in the console or that the cursor is looking at? So we'll say object reference, um, just say ref equals game, uh, get current console ref. Uh, if we don't have one, so if not a ref, then we'll say ref equals game get the crosshair one and we'll say if not a ref then we'll return and be like yo you need to select something print um uh, no target object selected to play animation on or whatever shouldn't end a sentence with a preposition but i'm doing it so deal with it deal with it Cool. It's a float called um, ease in time. And so we'll say ref dot that. I'm just gonna be super lazy, and I'm gonna say arguments zero, and I'm gonna say arguments one as float. Normally, I check and do like. Did they pass on a correct float? And if not, let's print out a message. And I think ease in time has a default. Yeah. Cool, save build. Let's go into the game and try to run some animations. Gonna run animations tonight. I don't wanna open up creation kit. I wanna open up the game. Gimme the game. Cool. All 
right, sweet. I was hoping it would be forward. Let's see if COC white run exterior. I'm just guessing. I wonder if O2 is right outside the door. What is going on? Oh no! knows? What happened? What happened to my game? The rain what? broke the world. City's closed with the drug. Um, I wonder if I accidentally have like alternate start on. I don't think I have anything. What did they do? something. Let's move a drawbridge. Let's move it now. Mm -hmm. Kitty cat gonna move drawbridge all by herself with her mind. Telekinesis. Um, we gave that a long name. Play GB Animal. Selected. All right, let's give it time now. Let's do it backward, or is it backwards or backward? Right, let's say three seconds. That's better. <laughs> what even makes a sound? Let's put it back up. Let's make it go real slow. Oh man, the up doesn't go. Maybe they didn't make that because you're not supposed to see it? Man. Okay, no, maybe my times just aren't working. Backward 3 worked like a charm, didn't it? Kung thinks it's playing later. Well, it's pretty good. We could do better. We saw it go down really nicely, um, the door, uh, the gate, um, once. So frustrating. if I'm on it. Oh no! Um, well, let's do it with the door. Uh, solitude, Lincoln, Skeever. I guess it works with like anything, right? Just doors and stuff. Um, boop. Um, Womp, 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 womp. I don't know how you knew about the drawbridge and that that would work. Is there anything else you want to see go up and down? We made one thing go up and down. I don't know what else uh, works on. It says that it works on door wraps. I got a door, yo. Um, it'd be really nice if I could print out the name of whatever's clicked on. I kind of want to do that right now because I want to make sure this is a door because I could have clicked on the wall. I kind of want to make one called name really now. Cool, let's try close. <laughs> You're a genius, Zach. Um, let's do open and see if we can make it real slow. Man. I feel like once you do it once, it just breaks it. I don't know why. I don't know why I broke the animation for this door. Um, no door. I totally like just broke the animation for the door. Like it works really well once. Let's do open five. Oh 
and I wanted to see if it would go. Open three. Let's see if we can close it. Oh, we didn't select it. I'm an idiot. Close five. I want it to be real slow. Ooh. Select this one. Select it at this time. Let's open five. It's like so quirky. Um, the like uh, ease and time is a little bit quirky, but it sure is fun. I love that. That's so satisfying. Yeah, it works this time. But now I bet if I open five, it's just gonna go like slam. It's just gonna go. Yeah. Give a second to maybe finish its animation. Because I heard, after five seconds, I heard it go crunch. Now if I close it, oh bummer. We broke all the doors. Good job, Sakurella Dias. You broke all the doors in Skyrim. It's your fault. I'm gonna make this guy follow me because of it. Come, Corpulus, let us watch a beheading. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I can make the guy that's about to get beheaded follow me. Oh, they get mad at me if I do that. Fine. Oh, God. No. But first, I want this guy to follow me. Let's dismiss my existing follower. Oh, he died. I guess I could have used hide. Main menu, because I can do that. <laughs> I'm still playing the stupid combat music here. Let's look at this. You have sound beginning to play. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Cool, at least now we know. Oh, whoa. Where's this start over? Does that actually exist, that start over? There is a start over. Should the animation start over from the beginning? Oh, and it's false by default. Aw, all right. Go give your little Kaji detention. Um, I'm gonna try the start over as true. Breaks the synchronization, okay. You should do the following, which works for all types of, oh, um, while Sack is doing that, I'm gonna make another command real quick called name so that when I um, click on like a door or something, I can just type name in the console and see what I'm looking at. Um, it's really frustrating. Um, Maybe that and it's form ID or something. So let's do that. Let's make another command. Make one called name. Make one called name. All right, epic sauce. Let's make a console command. If anybody's got an idea, you should pitch it. Cause we can make anything happen in Skyrim. We're making people follow us. We're open, we're making drawbridges go up and down that aren't supposed to. We're doing whatever we want. Pitch an idea. Oh man, I clicked the button again. Now it's gonna take an extra second. I did that intentionally so I could set my tea. All right, I'm gonna make a name command. But so far we got ones that let us hide. Yeah, someone give me a, someone give me an idea. Someone give me an idea for something else that console command could do in Skyrim. I know y'all there. Name command. Burp, burp, burp. All right. Make a little command for Skyrim. Let's make it real fast. This one should be like the fastest command that we've ever made. Um, it just, we just type console command. And then we just do, um, Event on command. An event. 
I guess we need to get whatever you're like looking at or whatever. I'm just gonna copy that because we keep doing that from other things. Here it is. Yoink. 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 Um, instead of play animation, no target object selected to print name of. Let's just, uh, let's get the name. Let's say string name equals ref dot get name. If there is none, if not name, then we'll get it from its base object. Name equals uh, ref get base object get name, because that's always what works. Now let's print it out, and we're done. Print, um, let's just print out the name. It's going to Skyrim. I really want to make that guy who's getting beheaded follow us. Um, I I think I totally know a way. Um, let me make sure the follow script um, uh, will get the console ref or the crosshair ref. Cool. We're going to make that guy follow us. We're going to do it right now. And he's just going to walk away from his beheading. I really want to know what happens. I kind of want to do that first. Let's do that first, and we can use the name command too, because we can see what uh, what the dude's name is. So let's go to the winking skeever, and then we walk outside to the beheading. CSC solitude winking skeever. Right, cool. How do we get out of here? All right. Let us go to the beheading. We'll see what the dude's name is. And then we'll save him by, um, Pardon me. let's see, how close can I get? Name. Ah, I think that's the guy. Let's have him follow us. He's now a follower. <laughs> is, he, is he not allowed to go further? Yep. There we go. He's ours now. <laughs> you betrayed us. Traitor. Mother says I shouldn't talk to people. Let's take him down to the docks. Um, what should we do now? Um, I used to be an adventurer like you. Did he follow us? Then I took an arrow in the knee. I should uh, make something that will teleport your follower directly to you. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Someone tell me what the name of that should be. Uh, we sh we could just say like follow here Someone or do something. Someone do something. Where'd the guy Don't go? Hurt me. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make the follower that we have teleport directly to us. So, because it's really annoying to lose your follower, isn't it? I find it really annoying to lose your follower. So, let's just say, if you have a follower, if there's a grand follower, uh, if you said, like, here or whatever, I'm going to say, uh, if arguments zero equals now oh, follow follow me follow here oh, I'm gonna say me I don't know nobody's giving suggestions so I'm gonna say me um, I'm just gonna have them teleport to us so I'm gonna say current follower place at place actor at me is that enough just place at me place at me make a duplicate I don't I don't want that move to I think it's move to Game get Blair. Keep losing my followers. Did you see we took uh we stole the guy who was getting beheaded. We stole him. I'm gonna go do it again. Cause then I lost him. And I want my followers to get teleported to me. COC Solitude. Winking Schemer. I love these commands. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Let's uh, let's make that health potion ours. It's ours now. We can take it. And I want a lot of them. Let's uh, let's make a hundred of them. That was fun. It's not as fun as the cheese. Before we go outside, I want to do that with the cheese. Oh, we're downstairs. The cheese is my favorite. How about like 500? Let's see if that works. First, let's make it mine because I want them. 
want them to be mine. What if I do like a thousand? It's still going. I feel like that's the equivalent. I think it's still going. It's like one of those things that you uh, set on fire and put on the, like, you use your lighter against those little snakes that you put on. <laughs> Oh, I was so sad that it's done, but it's not. I'm so happy. How do I get out? Now I'm going to steal the guy who was getting beheaded. Maybe I'll duplicate him first. Um, Pardon see if I can duplicate people. Um, but I want that guy. I want him to follow me. And while you were gone, Sack, I made it so that I can get the name of whatever I'm pointing at. And so now, I stole this guy. But he didn't follow me outside. So I added a teleport. You betrayed us! Come on, follow me outside, buddy. Tell them he didn't do it! If you need portions, head over to Angeline's aromatics. He didn't come outside with me. So let's see if this works. I said, follow me. So let's click on, yeah, yeah, follow me. See here? There he is. Oh no, you ain't got no clothes, buddy. I should give him some clothes. Oh, they're angry. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, I can make more of them now. I click on him. Name. Victory is yours! I cannot you! I'm so happy, you guys! I'm so happy. Um. What happened? What happened? I don't know what to do now. Alright, well, before I decide, I'm gonna make more of them. I'm gonna make as many as I can. What should we do, you guys? Um, I guess they don't fit down in the mad mesh or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Can I see him? Back to him, man. Damn shit. <laughs> They're just bailing. Oh, actor limit. I blew up. Um, that's a CDD that is worth CTDing. Uh, I don't even have Net's Fame Framework uh, installed because I run my game so vanilla. I'd love to see what that CTD said. Um, interesting. I don't know why. Oh, hilarious. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we're gonna make that work. Ah, .NET script framework. I think I have DLL loader. I just uh, currently don't have .NET script framework installed. Yeah, I can see it's got DLL loader. Um, let's grab .NET. I thought I had this in my downloads. Maybe I don't. Go to my downloads and add these things. And add some Mac bears. Who do you want to see? Who's your like favorite NPC? No, you didn't. Sakurilla Diaz says that uh, they helped make the actor limit fix. I don't believe you. That's too cool. That's too elite. You were lying. It's impossible. You work on so many projects. You're such a pro. Um. I should install Inigo just so that I can have a thousand of him. Who's my favorite NPC? Who do I want to make like a trillion of? And where? Um, I could fill right White Run's uh, Dragon Reach with them. Um, okay, cool. Helped him test it. Um, with Thanes. Okay, cool. We did the coding. 
Do you have a favorite NPC? Everyone's got a favorite NPC. Although I'm trying to decide what my favorite NPC is. Man. I mean, Dark Fox always talks about HOD. You always gotta have a HOD. We can make as many HODs as we can make. Let's see how many HODs we can make. I'm going for 5,000 HODs. Let's see if they show up on the ground or if they float around. That's, that's a lot. I'm really testing this plugin. Oh, now I have .NET Script Framework um, installed. Yeah, favorite NPC, who do you want to train up? Uh, let's make a train up. I should test with just like 100, but no. Get Max. Bring me all the wood you can chop. Should be still creating them. There we go. There's a lot of hides. They will float. Because uh, we still hit the limit. Ooh, look at them go. They're like in a line trying to get out of the way. Oh, one of them was very unhappy about flying away. Let's see here. What now? What to do? And I wonder if this is going to CTD at any point. It's last time it did. And the right fair one at that. It took like a minute or so though. And then I just set my two while I wait for it to CTD and I think of another command. Got business long here in going? Eh? Yeah, about an hour. There are worse villages. See so what time is it? Alright, nine minutes from a true hour. At least the damn war hasn't got Set a new me. limit in the yes. Okay. You can set a new limit in the INI file that comes with the plugin, it sounds like. From the side. We work hard. We try to do right by our families. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, she's go just see hot at the She's name. totally fine. She's me, not bothered I've by got this my at axe, all. My wife Gerder. Um and my boy. Yeah, let's go somewhere that's not there. Um, People of Riften. I'm, I'm gonna try to. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, CC White Run Exterior O2 broke for me last time, and I was like underwater. Yeah. What is the deal? And then there's a guard who's gonna tell me something, but the guard's not there. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Welcome to White Rock. Hold. City's closed with the dragons. Weird. Alright, Drawbridge, where are you at? Oh, that's the outside? I wonder if that weird rain thing is fixed now. Yeah, just when I see COC there and it's in a weird mood. Okay, let's try this Drawbridge again. This time we're on this side of it. Play GP Anim forward. I want to go slow. Go five seconds. Man, man. I didn't make it. Uh, I didn't fully finish reading that article. So. There's just such a beautiful animation down. Okay, well the sound is a little bit off, but it was pretty pretty. I liked it. Um, you can use the value, so 120. Okay, cool. Noise, noise, noise. Yeah, 128 is the core of all, all things Skyrim. Um, yeah, the way that I made it so you can add multiple commands to console commands uh, is gnarly. And I have like 16 arrays so that you can have I want you to be able to have lots of commands because I'm a perfectionist and I want to release it and not have to come back to it. So, man, um, right, we're an hour in. Uh, my guess is, Sack, you've got to go to bed pretty soon. Um, is there anything you have an idea for as a command? Or, or I'm going to make the MCM menu because an hour is just not a long enough time to stream. I'm like building up my Twitch streaming endurance because it's literally legit a thing. Um, it's like a thousand percent a thing. Um, it just, uh, cool, yeah, think on one. I'm gonna run around. Because um, there's just so much fun to make, and I think it's a fun thing to. And people who watch this on YouTube are gonna have fun with it too. Say, Helgen, go to. Um, should we do that guy? 
Let's make him follow us. By a dragon. Uh, now we've got a guard. Come on, buddy. But if I run away real fast, I should be able to teleport him directly to me. Whee! Is he at us or not? He's not. Let me follow him. There he is. Cool. That was fun. We got mark and recall. That was fun. I wanted that for Marlin. Right now you can only mark and recall one. I'm just going to make like 20 markers or something, right? So you can name up to 20 places or, I don't know, 100, whatever, whatever. Um, the commands are all like half meant to be examples and half meant to be like, I think people are going to dig a lot of the commands. Um, we do. I'm gonna see if Gimme works on harvesting. I don't think it will. How much if I Gimme a hundred of this thing? No, did it give me white run cards? Oh well. So we can duplicate this dude, we can kill him, we can go wherever we want. Hmm. I'm like looking at my cheat sheet of commands that I wanted to make. And like, I'm like legit out of ideas. Um, there's like logistical things that I need to do with this. I, it needs an MCM menu so that you can turn the commands on and off. And I really want commands to be able to be configured. But uh, I think that would make its fun own YouTube, which a smaller audience will watch than this. I'm gonna duplicate this guard while I drink my tea and while you think and I think so let's do um, let's do 512 of this guy. Oh I have the tea. Oh no I did it of me! Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> my bad. Oh, they're like crowd surfing. It's a lot of Khajiit. Huh? Now I just want to cast something and have it explode and explode and kill out the Khajiit. Um, guys, I know you're there. I give me ideas. I do want to really jump up on these guys. Oh well. It'd be sweet if I, um, uh, right now my follow command is just using the built-in follower dialog, so it has the maximum of one. I didn't tweak AI packages, I didn't do anything like that, um, figured I'd do it later. It would be really adorable if I could, like, dupe follower, and, um, if I had 512 Khajiit running around and following me around. I think that would be adorable, but maybe that's just me. I want like a whole crowd of Khajiit following me around. Um, but I don't want to work on AI packages right now on the stream. I mean, I could. Those soups don't want to. It would be fun, you guys. I knew you there. I knew you were like you. Let's see what we have so far. Right, we got the duplicating. We got making people follow us. We got putting whatever we want in our inventory. We got going invisible. A spell thing would be fun. Just casting some spell and keeping it on us. That would be cool. Um, you can go to the main menu. You can mark and recall a teleport. You can get the name of something. Now we can add perk points and remove perk points. That's new and fun. And we can play game by row animations. Um, a send anim event already exists, otherwise I would do that. Um, is there anything like on game that's not accessible by default that like, let's go to the game script. Just go to the game script for ideals. Add achievements. Add perk points. 
clear prison. Fast travel. Switching modes, that's not useful. Incrementing skills and stuff. There's already console commands for all that stuff. Plays a Bing video. What do videos play? What are Bing videos? I can't think of. I mean, Skyrim doesn't have cutscenes, so that's not what those things are. So what are those things? I was gonna have something that gives you um, you can name your save games. We could do that. You can name your save games and then you could just type load blah in the console without having to open up the um, the menu. You could just say like save foo, save bar, save whatever. And then later on you could just type save foo. Um, that's an idea. I don't think it's as fun as some things we could do. Teaching words, doing spells. Let's search for spells. Search for all kinds of stuff. Hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah, me too. Um, I could just do the mod configuration menu, or I could do the saves because I really want to do it. Maybe while we think for better ideas, I'll do the save games. I want to see if you can just save through and then load it because I think it's useful, especially for mod authors, if you want to like save a certain scenario without having to go to like your list of saves, you can just COC into the game and then like just type load scenario one because you like set up all these scenarios like scenario one where I have three followers and scenario two where I have five followers. Um, this one out. Uh, we could summon a horse. We could summon a rideable horse that you own. It's kind of just a spell. You do it with console command. Give me horse. We could just call it horse. Should we make a horse summoning command? Horse summoning. Going once. Oh, going twice. Sold for horse command. We're gonna make a horse command. Um, all right, this guy's still following me around. Um, so I'm gonna dragon that you can fly. Um, if dragons are amicable to you, um, if they're friendly to you, uh, is there like a built-in thing to fly them? I don't remember. I haven't played the game in so long. Um, so we should be able to summon a dragon pretty easily. Um, because we'll just make a spell and we'll cast it. Um, let's go in the CK. Oh, cool. Thank you. Okay. If I apply the Ben will shout, thanks, Sack, who mentioned the Ben will shout. If I um, target a dragon with that, will it make them writable? So all I need to do is combine. Uh, conjuring them, which I don't need to use a spell. I can just use place at me. Let's just go find a dragon. We'll just do place at me, and then we'll uh, use the Benwell shout and target them. I say it as if it's so easy, which could go terribly, terribly wrong, or we may be riding a dragon in less than five minutes. And I don't mean doing drugs. That's not writing. I forget what it's called. Um, mm, let's find a dragon. I want a dragon. Hmm. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? Are we looking for NPCs? NPCs. NPCs. Right? What could possibly go wrong? Uh, we don't want dragon priests. Fire or fire? Frost. Frost seems pretty cool. That one seems pretty cool. Yeah, I want that one. Let's summon that one. 
Who's dog next to me? You wanna say hi to everyone, puppy? Who's your hi to all the people on the Twitch? Hi to all the people on the Twitch. Hi to all the people on the Twitch. You to talk. 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 Hey, you done with that? Mom's gonna make a dragon. Mom's gonna summon a dragon. Then we're gonna ride it. She wants to ride the dragon. Um, sorry, puppy. You don't. You don't, you don't meet the height requirement. Um, yes, puppy. Um, her name is Parker. She's amazing. Uh, oh, let's make the command while we're in CK. Uh, really, I just want to keep this open so I can get its form ID. But let's go to uh, make the command. I'm just going to call it Dragon, unless you want to give it another idea, uh, another name. Um, isn't there like a movie about dragons and riding them? I'm too old. Um, like, should we call it My Dragon? I'm going to call it Dragon until you give me a better idea. Dragon Command! Cool. Cool, let's summon that dragon, and then we'll get the shout, and we'll apply it, and, uh... Like Sakura I said, what could possibly go wrong? It could be totally fine. I think I keep seeing a dog butt in the background. Um, console command, event on command, and event. And let's just get the dragon, so we'll say form dragon equals game get form and I wanted this one I wanted fe11e one one e. fe11e one one e. is that it fe f8 f8 I can say words and letters they're different cool that's my dragon and I'm just gonna do uh, let's get the shout before we place it at us um, so Ben will Oh, sweet. Good to know. All right, I'm going to load up Dragonborn. Thank you. I would have been like, where is it? Okay, cool. Thanks, Zach. This has been awesome. You just hang out. Lurk and chill. Have some, like, sleepy tea. Cuddle with that Khajiit. All right. Bend well. Sweet. A spell. Spell. All right, there's three levels of it. I probably want the highest level of it. Tame dragon. Okay, cool. So I'm going to grab this spell. Bell then will equals game get form from file. I think it's always gonna have the same. It's always gonna be O2. I think I can always rely on Dragonborn being O2 and I don't need to just reference uh dragonborn.esm. Uh, and I'm gonna do game from file, whatever. So it's 1790E1. I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna do uh, the full with the O2. O2, O1, 79E1. Let's tame us a dragon. Two O one seven nine e one. I'm gonna get you this dragon before you go to sleep, Sakurilla. Yes. Still gonna. I'm gonna learn how to say your name. You have so many of them, um, which is fine. So do I. Let's do. Uh, let's make a dragon. So object reference. Um, see, that's dragon form or base dragon, whatever. So dragon equals. Let's get us after player equals game get player. So we can get a dragon. Uh, player place at me a copy of the dragon. So the dragon form. And now let's do this Ben Will thing. Let's do Ben Will cast. And the uh, 
caster is the player and the target is the dragon. And let's just print out, <laughs> we now have a dragon. Uh, I kind of want to make a custom form so that we, you know what, I'm going to rename the base dragon anyway. Let's see if we can say uh, dragon form set name. Let's get the player's name and we'll say their dragon. So we'll say player, get actor base, get name, and then apostrophe s, dragon. So that's the name of the dragon. You now have a dragon. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Let me get you this dragon, buddy. Let's go CK and go in the game. Which the dragon's just gonna show up and annihilate us. Just maul us to death. Uh, we could have them show up like disable or something. I don't know. I enable them. Let's find out. COC, where should we do this? Where should we get mauled by a dragon? I wanna go to Solitude Winking Skeever and walk outside. I like the idea of the dragon showing up in that like crowd of people outside the Winking Skeever. Where am I? Mm -hmm. Cool. Let's get a dragon. Heart. Hey, what were you doing? Oh no, it's the way. I'm getting out of here. And it shows up with red. Okay, so I didn't do that correctly. Hmm. Friend will source target. Sack, what did I do wrong? What did I do? Ben will. I mean, I didn't specifically get it from Dragonborn. I'm supposed to be O2, whatever. Um, I'm going to get form from file. I'm going to print out this spell to make sure we actually got it because I have this feeling that Ben will is none. I'm going to print out um, spell and Ben will. And now I'm going to go to my mod list of plugins. It's dragonborn.esm. Um, get form from file. I'm gonna load up SSE edit and just double check that spell maybe. I guess I could do an creation kit. No oh, SSE edit opened up on a different screen. Oop, Dragonborn, Spell. Form ID, Let's see if we got the right one. Kind of think now that we've got this uh, thumb file, there's a chance. So I'm kind of tempted to just compile and go in game. Let's see if it works. Rum. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That form ID totally worked. All right. I'm going to get you this dragon, buddy. I'm going to get it for you. I'm going to go in game. If this doesn't work, I'm going to, like, have it get cast a couple times. Just, like, cast it a couple times. I guess I'm doing it in Riverwood. COC dragon, I'm a goofball dragon. Cool, the spell is there. The, the will heart. thing appears to have happen. At I'm at your command. Who's that, buddy? Where are you pieced out? He's at our command. Where is he? Alright, I'm gonna maybe teleport back to us. No, there he 
it. Alright, we got it. I'm gonna ride a dragon and then go to bed. Come on, how do we get him? How do you, how do you control them? How do you get this buddy to uh, come down to me? Do I have to cast Ben Will again? I'm gonna do that. I don't know how, how Ben Will works. I know you're not at your computer, but if you could just offer a little bit of you know how Ben Will works. Um, I'm going to say uh, object reference um, dragon and we'll say uh, if you already have a dragon then we're just going to cast Ben Will. Uh, if dragon else we'll get you one. So that way I can just keep typing dragon and it'll cast that Ben Will thing. Okay it runs out soon. Um, I think he pieces out and then comes back. So I'm going to make it so that this will keep casting it on him. And so he'll hopefully come down to us. So if there isn't a dragon, I'll make one for you and place them at you. And cast this on them. So you now have a dragon. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to cast it on them again and place them uh, uh, place them at you. Uh, so I'll say uh, dragon move to player. So you can keep typing dragon, and it sh I'll just print out. Uh, da -da -da -da. Here, dragon, 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 dragon. Too. Come here, dragon. Okay, let's try that. Otherwise, we could make our own spell that has Ben Will that like lasts for like ever. Um, but if we can use the built-in one, that is much better. I did pick Ben Will three, which is probably the most powerful one. Give me a dragon. I want a dragon. Hail Guri. Shall we fly together? Come on, buddy. Where you at? I'm going to type it again. Please, it's not me. And it casts it. Come on down, buddy. Oh, yeah. And it says ride player's dragon. Oh, hell yeah. Can I like control this dragon? Oh, no, it's like over. You have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, Sacralitius. Cool. You can officially now crash it if you want to. You can go to bed because we're riding a dragon. We now have a dragon command, thanks to you. And I'll ship this. You cannot control it. That's the way. And, well, we're still riding the dragon. So that's. I didn't even know you could do that, and now we're doing it. You can walk something else. Okay. Um, man, we're only an hour and a half. Actually, officially an hour and 19 minutes. I should go for two. I don't know how dark folks and folks do this. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to get this out there pretty soon um, for uh, Sacramento and uh, make it easier for testing mods to control dragons. Um, like they were so, target lock. What does that do? Oh, I can kill a cow. As you command. I don't want to kill a cow, but I think we're about to kill a cow. It's a fox. Poor fox. He just annihilated a poor fox. Well, that was fun. Um, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna save this command. I 
got more science coming by. Brr, 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 brr. Here, while the science go by, I have less loud. I said I meant to this dragon, guys. Before you go to bed, let me know if you've got another idea and I'll do it for um, the YouTubes and uh, the silent people who are hanging out. Uh, I was just gonna do a horse. I was, I'll do a horse. Yeah, totally. Um, hopefully I'll see you soon. Thank you as always, Zach. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you for hanging out. You've got a dragon. Have a dragon. Hey, peace and have a good one. I am going to actually fill my tea while the dragon flies around, so if anyone hops on the stream, they're gonna be like, why is the dragon just flying around? And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna unmute my audio while I refill my tea. Dragon will fly around, and I'll be right back. See you sec. And then we're gonna summon a horse, and then, um, I might do save game names, or we'll just summon a bunch of random stuff. So, I... Cool, and I'm back and I've got fresh tea. I don't know how to top summoning a dragon, um, but I'm gonna do a horse, and if you have a follower, it'll summon a horse for them as well. So I've never dealt with that or horse ownership or anything like that. So first I'm gonna save all this progress that we've made, because um, we've made so many commands. What did we do? We said play GB anim. Let's see, added commands. These were all Sacrilegious's idea. I'm gonna learn to say Sacrilegious. 
stack. Um, what else did we make? We made a dragon command. We made a name command. We made perk points add and perk points remove. Oh my god, we made so much stuff, you guys. Cool, and now let's push it up and online, but the mod isn't out quite yet. So let's do horses. You don't want to do horses? Let's do horses. I mean, you could, you could have a, you know, whatever you want, really. <laughs> That's why this is so much fun. So much fun. Yeah, that dragon totally didn't work because um, I wasn't getting the spell correctly. But we made it work. We made it work, you guys. We did it. Let's do horses. Uh, horses are horses, of course, of course, unless the name of the horse, of course. Da, 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 da. The famous Mr. Ed. That's how much I remember of that song. Um, horse command. Uh, summons a horse for you and your follower. Right now it'll only support one follower because that's all that's built into the game. But that's okay. One day we can make those do more cool, amazing things. Let's summon a horse. Oh, I wanted to keep CK open so that we can actually find out what is a horse. What is the idea of a horse? We need the horse form. The horse form will let us summon a horse. Um, so let's do that. I'll start to make this though. Here's the horse command. Um, let's say event on command. We want to might want to save the horses for you and your um, followers and whatever. But we'll say form horse form equals game get form, and it's gonna be some number. It's gonna be a number. Let's go get the number, you guys. And it's gonna be an NPC type. Caravan horse, that's not what I want. I want like a writable horse. Template horse. There's a bunch of horses, y'all. Cicero has a horse. Oh, jeepers, there's a lot of horses, you guys. Are they all writable? That does not look like a horse. Ooh, player horse. I love Windhelm. There's a horse. Let's just do that one. Um, if there's ones with multiple colors in the base game, then we could let you specify that. These ones are different colors. I'm gonna look for player horse. Oh cool, they got purdy colors. They're purdy, y'all. Um Cool, let me get all of their IDs and we'll pick one at random unless you specify which one you want and you can just specify the city um, is the easiest thing I can think of. So let us do that. I wish I had subcommands implemented, but that's coming later. So horse, we can just start by giving a horse so that we can go into Skyrim real quick. So, cause going into Skyrim is fun. I like going into Skyrim. So let's grab just this horse because I think they look pretty. 109B41. I will give it the name, which is uh, Mark Hop Player Horse. Mark Hearth. I've never been good at saying that. And then uh, we'll give him a horse. We'll say object reference play a horse and then uh, if they don't have a horse we'll give them a horse of course of course and uh, if they do then we'll just summon the horse there um, or we'll let you type horse and it'll make it disappear and horse and it'll appear how about that um, let's do cool horse enabled I think you can just get enabled, but whatever. We'll find out. So we'll say, uh, if you already have a horse, 
else if you don't already have a horse. So if you already got a horse, let's just move the horse to you. So we'll say player horse, move to the player. So we need the player. So let's get actor player equals game player. We got the player. Mm -hmm. We're gonna move the horse to the player. Okay, cool. And then we'll enable the horse. So uh, player horse dot enable because you can like enable and disable them and you can say whether or not they fade in or out and I want them to fade in because I think that's cute um, ooh, if if there already is one uh, if we've enabled them they'll show up uh, they'll disappear and if they're not enabled they'll show up I want you to be able to just type horse and your horse will go like and just disappear into nothingness and then you can get your horse back whenever you want just open up the console and type horse so if horse enabled else and if so if the horse is not enabled we'll enable them move them to you and we'll say horse enabled equals true um, otherwise if they are enabled we'll make them fade out play a horse disable Maybe fade out equals true. And then, yeah, we don't need to move them anywhere, but we do want to say horse enabled equals false. Uh, otherwise, if you don't have a horse, let's get you a horse. Uh, and we'll, we'll update this to work on a bunch of horses so that you can do it for your followers too, so that you'll get all the horses for all your peoples. Um, Cool, 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 cool. And right now we'll just support the one follower that's built in, but then whatever, we'll do more. So, player horse, let's give you a horse. Of course, of course, let's say player place at me a muck huff player horse. Give me one. And we'll say uh, player horse equals that and then we're just going to say the player horse is owned by the player dot get actor base I don't know if that'll work Ooh, and I want to rename them um, instead of being called Markov horse we're going to rename the horse entirely and we're going to say uh, that their name is equal to whatever the player's name is, like apostrophe horse, um, which is kind of what the game does. So we'll say we'll rename the player horse's name to whatever the player's name is. So player dot get actor base, which is what you need to do, get name, and then just like apostrophe s horse. Cool, their horse. Um, I think that's it, you guys. Let's try it. I want the horse. One horse, please. Let's do it in solitude. I've been really digging solitude recently. Let's go to solitude and summon us a horse and mess up an execution. We might even summon a dragon. Solitude winking skeever. Cool. Um, yeah, let's mess up the execution because that's fun. But first, let's summon us a horse. Oh, I should have tried to summon the horse inside. That's even funnier than summoning a horse in this crowd of people. But let's try and summon the horse in this crowd Pardon. of people and see if it works. Oh, I didn't make it a command. It's fine. That'll take two seconds. Console command. Do I need to do anything else? I'll, s I'll print out words like, hey, you now have a horse. How about that? Um, uh, print, uh, you now have a horse. And we'll just do like, horse dismissed, horse summoned. And then we'll go back to the dragon because the dragon was cute. We're gonna summon us a horse. Yeah, let's do it inside. Um, solitude winking skeever. 
I blend my little Khajiit, my little Khajiit girl who shows up. This is my little Khajiit right here at the bar, you know, just hanging out at the bar, not summoning horses or anything. There's a horse. Got my horse. If you need a good rumor or two, I think I can apologize. I can't go through the door. I don't remember how to get off a horse. Is it not E? You get off a horse, you guys. I'm stuck on a horse. Summon a horse. Never get off the horse. I'm not kidding. There we go. Oh, I should have made it disappear. Let's see if it shows up on the other side of the door. Alright, um, if I do horse, it's probably going to get dismissed. Oh, it's going to be summoned. Cool. Now let's see if we can dismiss them. Oh, they fade away into nothingness. And then when we want a horse again? We got a horse again. Who happens if I get rid of them while I'm on them? Horse. You betrayed us! Oh no, it crashes! I'm not surprised in the least! Well, that was fun. Alright, let me save that there's a horse command now. Uh, horse command added. Should we make it work with followers? I think so. I think if you've got a follower, we'll get you a horse for your follower. So let's see if you got followers. How do we see if you got followers, my friends? How do we see? Well, we already got something that will tell us who our followers are. So here we go. It's just this line. It's easy, easy peasy. Um, so there we go. We've already got it. It's done. We've got current follower. Um, so we'll say follower horse. And right now this is easy because if we just use vanilla, then you can only have one follower anyway. So follower horse. Otherwise we would need like a map of horses to like Fred's horse and Sally's horse if you're using a framework that gives you multiple horses. Um, so player horse, if horse enabled, play horse disable. Uh, let's literally just do the same thing to the follower horse if it exists. So if follower horse. Then we'll make the follower horse disappear too. Which, if the follower is still on that horse, is totally gonna crash the game. But that's okay. We'll test it. All right, let's get you a horse for your follower. If there's a follower horse, uh, end it here. If there's a follower horse, we'll disable them. Uh, if there's a current follower, then we'll move the horse to them. So let's move the follower's horse to the follower. Current follower. Cool. Summoned, horse dismissed. And now, here's this piece. Um, let's just say this. They have current follower, and they don't have a horse. Well, now we'll just do it here. Sirens. Ooh, let's get a different horse. Um, so the follower won't have the Markarth, Markarth horse. They'll have a different horse. Um, let's grab one from Creation Kid. What kind of horse do you want? Do you want one from White Run? Oh, let's set that as it doesn't matter if it's active. We just need to pull up Skyrim and look at the horses. Look at the horses that the players can have. And then I guess I'm gonna call it. It's gone kinda quiet, you guys. Alright, let's do ooh, Riften. How's that one look? That one's pretty. All right, let's get the Riften one. Oh, 
form Rickon player horse equals game get form. That one is 109. D40. Cool. And then we'll just give it to them. Uh, we'll set the name of that horse to whatever the current follower's horse is, which um, we'll always update that because your follower might change. Say uh, if current follower and follower horse. We're going to change the name of the follower horse to be like called followers name or whatever. You know what I mean? Like Joe's horse, Sally's horse, Hilda or Hod's horse. Cool. Let's set um, um, Mark. Off new Riften horse, Riften player horse, set name, and we'll just set it equal to whatever the follower's name is. So current follower dot get actor base dot get name and apostrophe s uh, horse. So let's get them horse. So we already did that for the player. We'll say the follower horse equals follower, so current follower dot place at me one of the Riften player horses then set them as owned by hmm, let's just always update the set owned by because again the current follower can change so let's say um, follower horse set owned by so actor owner current follower I don't know if it's supposed to be you, the player, or whatever. Um, get actor base, or whatever. So now we've got a follower horse. Uh, let's print uh, the name of the follower now has a horse. How about that? We'll say uh, current follower, get actor base, get name, and uh, now has a horse. And uh, if you are enabling a horse, I think this is all right. Go, let's go get a follower and let's try it. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Should we go to Solitude again? I love going to the Solitude Linking Spiller. What's that guy's name? Corp? That's who we'll get as our follower. But we can take this grumpy ass guy. He's always so grumpy. I have no quarrel with I have no whatever. business with you. No business Leave with me. you. Um, get this guy to follow us. Let's go outside. Might have to wait a second for him or I can just teleport him to us. Cool. Walk over here, dude. Now let's get us horses. Uh, horses are horses, of course. Of course. This one is player's horse. This one is his horse. You betrayed us. If I get on mine, will he get on his? Or do they both have to be on by me? Let's make them both owned by me. And see if he will ride it. So we'll set the owner to me when we make one. Let's try that. Otherwise, there might be something that you have to do, like specifically say that a horse is like associated with a player, like an NPC. I don't know. 
I don't know you guys. Oh, let's get the same guy from the Wicking Skeever. Yeah, 15 more minutes before I hit two hours. Two hours. Let's get the horses working. This could make one more command in that time still. Right, this guy's following us. I think the uh, episode uh, title thing is Totes gonna be the dragon. The episode background. So if there's my horse, there's his horse. Get on with it! Traitor! Will he get on his horse? You betrayed us! I don't know how to do that. Should we look it up? I mean, looking up articles is really, really fun. Wow. While twitching. Okay, let's do dragon, and then while we have a dragon, we'll look at it. Uh-oh, I think I summoned a bunch of them. No, oh, no, there's a bunch of dragons. Give me a dragon. I'm supposed to save the dragon. I'm supposed to only be one. Let's make a bunch of dragons, though. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. What is that? We save the dragon. Mm -hmm. Hey, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Uh, let's fix the horse situation. Let's do. Da -da 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 -da. Skyrim has NPC ride horse. If it's easy, then we'll do it. We'll let NPCs ride horse and creature kit or the ride ride horse and creature kit. Oh, you know what? This probably this horse is called Player Horse, and there's probably horses called um, like NPC Horse or whatever. Let's just find them. Let's see if there's an NPC horse. I'd love to get follower horses. Oh, we should totally fix dragon. I don't know what's up with dragon. Why doesn't dragon work? I mean, it works. But it doesn't. Dragon? There's a dragon. Otherwise, make more. You now have a dragon. Come here, dragon. The dragon isn't getting saved. Whatever. Sirens. Let's look for horses. None of those are NPCs. Let's look for a horse. Mm. Bunch of packages. Caravan. Leveled ones. Cicero ones for carts. Saddled ones. Ones in stables that are not the player ones. How does ownership work? Let me look at like one more article. Oh, 
So I guess we could say when we mount a horse, they will. I wonder if we can see when we mount a horse. Um, it could be an event on the object reference or on actor. Let's look at events. It could just be when you activate the horse. Um, so we could put a spell on the horse that tracks when they get activated and stuff like that. That is a lot more than I want to do right now. I don't know, you guys. We've got fucking dragons that we're riding, horses that we're summoning. Kind of feeling it. I think that might be it. Let's get this dragon working one more time. Because it's totally worked great. And then we tried it in Solitude and it killed everyone. So let's go to Riverwood again. Yeah, dragon, 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 dragon. Yeah, dragon, dragon, dragon. And we took Kajit, I want the dragon. Give me dragon, please. To whom then are I am cool. at your feet? Come down here, buddy. Just doing okay. Come down here. Now it flies off. Oh, okay, cool. it on him again. I moved him to us again. Now I should be able to ride this dude. And it's called Player's Dragon, which I love. This was Sacramentus' idea. Oh, while well, riding you can walk on your target. This was Sac's idea. I don't know how to top this, you guys. I don't know how to top riding the dragon. Got the horses and stuff. It's not worth doing right now. It was just a fun idea for it. We'll get it working. And like the followers coming in can be updated to support multiple followers. Whatever. Totally doesn't matter. Well, this has been such a ride. This has been so much fun, you guys. Uh, we should just keep coding and working on this stuff for the next couple hours. I can't code for like. Two more days, you guys. I've got a bunch of actual real life stuff, but this Twitch stream is what I needed. I really needed this, so. Thank you. Thank you on Twitch. You should follow me. Thank you on YouTube. You should subscribe and follow me and all that jazz and whatever. And as I always love to say, happy modding. Okay, happy modding, everyone. I'm a piece out of this. Okay. I'm gonna go back to some music. All right. All right. Happy morning, everyone.